Kettle and Kathy Thompson with Sad Movies, and I welcome them now to Midweek. Good to have you both with us today. Good afternoon, Robin. It's great to be back here in Tasmania once again and here at Channel 6. Well, even, I mean, even better than that, I mean, I, I have to congratulate you because you were married last night, the two of you. Yes, after an eight-year engagement, we decided that it was time, or we thought we knew each other well enough after that period to uh, go tie the knot, so that's what we did. And why Tassie? Well, because... Uh, Apart from the as fact you, that it's a beautiful place. Yeah, <laughs> as you probably are aware, I originally came from Tasmania. And, uh, yes, that's mm. right. And uh, my uh, dad is still living here and uh, most of my family. So, uh, And most of Kathy's family couldn't get to the wedding which wherever we held it. So we thought, well, it'd be nice to come down to Tassie and do it. Lovely. We mm. Mm. Well, of course, you have been touring, as you said, for quite some time now. But... Do you think being husband and wife might um, have any effect on you professionally? Uh, not as far as I'm concerned. Cathy might have something to say about it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. So you're not going to let any marital tiffs upset no. you on stage, so to speak? No, we don't have any of those anyway. You can always act anyway, can't well, you? Just right. pretend that you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Bill, let's go back to when you were part of the Singing Kettles mm -hmm. um, back in the 60s and 70s. Certainly a very popular group. Yes, we had our share of popularity and uh, we did quite well out of it, you know, uh, financially, although we spent quite a bit at the time when we was earning, but uh, we had a great time and, uh, you know, as a, a family entertainment uh, goes, well, uh, I, I think that we had quite a, a deal of uh, respect from many other groups and uh, performers in Australia mm. and uh, we did very well for quite a while, actually. And have you found it difficult adjusting to singing with a female rather than with, uh, with men? Uh, 
she looks better. <laughs> well, obviously, you married her, didn't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, <laughs> well, yes, this is true. Yes, but, uh, you know, like, um, travelling around the countryside uh, as a part of a, a group, you know, with a band and all that type of deal, um, it gets very frustrating at times and you get very weary, mentally frustrated. And mm. um, I find that doing it the way Cathy and I are doing it, it's much easier because we do floor shows in Sydney and uh, we just do a, a two-out thing, uh, self-contained act when we come down to Tassie or if we get booked where they've got a band, we'll we use their band. But mm. uh, uh, we find it much better this way. Terrific. And Cathy, you've been performing since about the age of... 12 was it, was it? Yes, I think it's 12. Oh, it's so far back now, I can't remember. <laughs> Don't yeah. give us any secrets, though. <laughs> yes, no, um, about 15 years I've been performing, but uh, I think the most experience I have had and the best experience I have had has been with Phil and Ross. Mm. It was interesting to read that um, about your ideas on education. You say oh. that, that young girls really don't uh, uh, appreciate, perhaps, mm -hmm. schooling. Um, I find that a lot of people think that to enter the entertainment industry or any other industry, they think that you don't need the certificate. You can get there without it, but you do. Because mm. you actually went back to studying Yes, country. that's right. Mm. And I'm writing a book now called So You Want to Be an Entertainer. <laughs> well, that's a good but, idea. I mean, a yes. lot of people obviously think yeah. that you just get out there and, and do it. That's but there's right. a lot of hard work behind the scenes, isn't there? Yes, there's very much. And the, the main thing I, I am uh, basing the book on is uh, the school certificate especially and the lessons that you need with entertainment like mm. singing lessons dancing les excuse me lessons uh, je um, drama lessons modeling lessons mm. You, mm. you really do need all of them it covers a great deal doesn't yes. it yes yeah well the two of you have released an album um mm -hmm. answer me stranger so what sort of music is on this um it's middle very basic middle of the road uh, type material uh, actually kathy uh, wrote the uh title track uh, which you see before you uh answer me stranger and uh, she told me she wrote it about me <laughs> that is know. correct he actually put the tune to it <laughs> yes I, I did write the music for it and uh, kathy wrote the lyrics and terrific mm. Mm. Yeah, it's going quite well for us actually and of course sad movies the one that you just yes. performed for us as well mm -hmm. mm. the um i noticed that you don't sing any frank sinatra songs he don't sing any of mine <laughs> 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 no, uh, actually, it's not not our style. You know, we mm. we sing uh, um, Everly Brothers, Connie Francis, all that type of mm. uh, '60s material. Mm. You know. But I was yeah. reading though that you don't sing mm. in particular his songs because he can do it well enough himself. Well, I, I believe I'm a believer in if you can't sing the song and do it justice, don't sing it. You know, and to well, that's anyone, fair enough too. Mm. For anyone to say that uh, they can sing a song better than Frank Sinatra can, well, they're kidding themselves. You know? Definitely, definitely. Mm, so. Well, while you're in Tasmania, I mean, uh, you're working, even though you're on your honeymoon, um, you'll be, now, let's see, it's at this Saturday night at the Star and Garter in New Norfolk. Yes. Then Sunday afternoon at Thylacine Park, and mm -hmm. then next Saturday at the Maypole Inn. That's right, yeah. So that sounds like a terrific mm. Um, mm. range of venues for you. Yes, I believe it's a family day at the restaurant at Cambridge. Oh, the Thylacine Park, mm. right. And I think for 10 bucks, the kids and everyone can enjoy themselves. Most definitely. We'll have a great time. Mm, apparently there's munchies all afternoon too. Yes. Oh, marvellous. What a great way to have a Sunday afternoon. I'll say, yes. <laughs> Well, thank you both for joining us today. I mean, a bit of a disappointment, I suppose. You were married last night and you're on television today, so... Oh, we enjoy it, or we wouldn't do it. Terrific. And there's no disappointments, believe no. me. Great. And thanks very much for performing for us today as well. Thanks, thank Robin. You. Good to meet you both. Thank you. Thank you.